Well, one of the best parts about watching Midday Maryland, in my unbiased opinion, of course, is always that we are learning new things. And we're joined now by board certified dermatologist, Dr. Shoshana Kindred from Kindred Hair and Skin Center. She is our teacher for the day. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm happy to have you here um, because you're going to teach us about something. The new lesson, it's something called slugging. What is slugging? Slugging is a new term for something that's probably quite old school. Okay. Uh, that's where at nighttime, after the skin is moisturized, we apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly, a thin layer of Vaseline on our skin, and then we wash it off the next morning. And so they named it slugging. That is very clever. Also very funny. Yeah. Not prepared for that. Right. Uh-huh. That's pretty funny. Okay. So is slugging good? I don't know if I'm going to use this word. Is that process <laughs> good for the skin? I know of all the terms to call something people have been doing I mean, for years. Why slugging? Slug, Nonetheless, slug a word. Uh, they're not things you want to be, but the process is something you might want to do. So, or maybe not. I don't know. Is it something we want to do? Yes and no. It's actually good. So remember dermatologists, 99% of us love petroleum jelly, love Vaseline. The Vaseline or petroleum jelly serves as a physical barrier. So if you wash your face at night, still while it's damp, apply a thin, thin layer of Vaseline. It's going to lock the water in, keep your skin hydrated overnight. It's great if you use an exfoliant, a scrub, or something just too abrasive or drying on the skin. Mm -hmm. However, if you have acne prone skin, slugging is the exact thing to not do yes. because yes. it'll it'll trigger clogging of the pores and inflammation and bacterial growth this for that group. Funny. Yeah, you're right. This is a very old school thing. I remember going to school in Wisconsin. My dad, an immigrant, you know, is like, this is so cold. He would take a whole hand of petroleum and just, just scoop, scoop it out, it right? In your face. <laughs> it was the worst. So we didn't have a term for that. I called it butterball face. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> I feel like old school parents, especially old school black parents, we they did that a lot. And that was to protect from the yeah. elements. It was very mm -hmm. annoying as a child, but it was actually very helpful. So yes, yes. So yeah, absolutely. Butterball face, whatever you want to call it. You want to do we that. We call it greasing up. But yeah. greasing up, there you go. Yeah. But in moderate, don't do too much is what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. And just be careful if you have acne. Oh my goodness. I love these segments with you. They make me laugh, but they also educate us um, about just, you know, different things that we should be doing or not doing for our hair, skin, and nails. Um, mm -hmm. When we need some more information, how can we get mm -hmm. that? Because I have a little, a book that we can sort of just use as our guide, right? An encyclopedia. Absolutely. Yeah. A little reference book. It's an yeah. easy read, Derma Myth. Breaking the Cycle of Skin Care Myths, and it's available at dermamyth.com or our website, kindredhairandskin.com. Perfect. All right. And then also to make an appointment, we should go to the website? Absolutely. Same. Okay. Dr. Shoshana Kindred, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.